Welcome to 5th grade math with Mr. J. In this video, we're going to be covering how to divide fractions, and specifically a whole number divided by a fraction. And as you can see, there are four problems on your screen where we start with a whole number and we divide by a fraction. And we also have the steps to dividing fractions at the top of your screen. Keep, switch, and flip. So keep those three steps in mind as we go through these four problems. Feel free to write these problems out with me, or if at any time you feel confident enough to try some on your own, press pause, finish the remaining problems, press play when you're ready, and check your work with mine. Let's hop right into number one. In number one, we have six divided by a half. So we need to rewrite our problem with the three steps at the top of your screen in mind. So the first step is keep. So we are going to keep this six as is. We're going to rewrite it as a fraction, but it's still going to have the value of six. So we keep our six, and in order to write a whole number as a fraction, you just put it over one. It still has the same value, but we now have a numerator and a denominator. So our second step is switch. So we need to switch to the opposite of division. Switch our division sign to a multiplication sign. And lastly, we flip. So we flip the second fraction in the problem. So the two is now the top number, the numerator, and the one is now the denominator. So our problem's all set up, and now we just multiply straight across. Six times two is 12, and one times one is one. So we have 12 over one, which is 12. So let's take a look at number two now. We have 10 divided by 2 fifths. So we keep the 10 as 10 value of 10 we just put it over one so it has a top and a bottom then we switch the division sign to the opposite which is multiplication and then the th third step is flip so we have five halves or five over two now we can multiply straight across 10 times 5 is 50 and 1 times 2 is 2 so we have 50 halves, or 50 over 2. Now that's an improper fraction. Our numerator is greater than the denominator. So we need to uh, convert it to a mixed number or whole number, depending on how things work out. So we need to do 50, the numerator, divided by the denominator. 50 divided by 2. So how many whole groups of 2 can we pull out of 50? And the answer to that is 25. And there's nothing left over, no remainder. It worked out as a whole number, so that is our quotient or answer, 25. For number three, we have five divided by three fourths. So keep, switch, and flip. So we have five over one times four thirds. Five times four is 20 and one times three is three. So we get 20 thirds. Now that's an improper fraction, so we need to convert it to a mixed number or whole number. So we need to do 20 divided by three. How many whole groups of three can we pull out of 20? And the answer is six. Now that only gets us to 18 and we need to get to 20. So we actually have a remainder or something left over. So a remainder of two which is going to be our numerator of our fractional part of this mixed number. So again, we did 20 divided by three, and we got six holes with a remainder two, and we keep the denominator the same. So we get six and two thirds. For number four here, we have three divided by two sevenths. So keep, switch, and flip. 3 times 7 is 21, 
and 1 times 2 is 2. So again, we have an improper fraction, so we need to divide the numerator by the denominator. So 21 divided by 2. How many whole groups of 2 can we pull out of 21? Well, 10. And that gets us to 20, so we have a remainder of 1, and we keep our denominator the same. So 10 and a half. So there you have it. There's dividing fractions and specifically a whole number by a fraction. So just keep in mind, keep, switch, flip, then you're able to multiply straight across and then just simplify your answer, whether uh, you need to convert to a mixed number, which means a whole number plus a fraction, like number three and four, or maybe it works out to be a whole number like number one or two. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.